Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School as we have some girls basketball here for you this evening. Tom Nappy on the call, and our crew today, Mike Terosian and Bob Hamilton. And this is girls JV action as the Hillers are set to take on Norwood in their season opener. So one of the rule changes because of the COVID-19 situation, no jump ball. So it's an inbound from the sideline by Lexi Bruce. Over to Dacey, back to Bruce, driving the lane. We'll feed it up top. Here goes Kane down there. She'll send it over to the right short corner, up for the shot, and no good is Jones. Battle for the ball, Norwood has it. And a pass goes off the hands of Caitlin Grant. Out of play it goes. It'll be Hiller's basketball. Hiller's will have the baseline entry. And here comes Dacey. Feeds it to the wing, up for three. It'll rattle out off the shot from Kane. Kane now with the ball. She'll feed it up top over to Dacey. Here's Bruce. Now it's back to Kane. The two captains on this Hopkinton JV team are Kane and Dacey as Kane misses the shot there. Rebound by Jones, tries to feed it out, stolen away. Quick break by Kaylin Grant. Off the glass, no good. And a rebound there by Chorus. She'll feed it out. Long two, no good by Reen. Out of play it goes. Hopkinton ball. We're just underway here in this JV matchup. A minute into action. And Mike, it's good to be back here. I at tell the... you, it's great. I love the athletic center. We all love the athletic center. And it's just so nice that sports have continued even through the uh, crisis is still with us. Absolutely. Up and in for the first points of the season is Emma Dacey. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Lauren Reen will take it up for Norwood. Reen feeds it out to Caitlin Grant. Trying to get it back to Reen, a battle for the ball. And it's recovered by Kane. And it'll be Hiller's ball. And I think that was a contact stoppage there. There was a lot of contact on that. It's going to be interesting to see how fast the whistles are for the uh, jump balls now uh, because of the contact issues. I imagine it'll be. Oh, and we have timeout. Pretty quick. Timeout called. 6:23 left to go. Good timeout there by the Hillers to keep possession. Very interesting how the timeout huddles uh, aren't what they used to be. You know, usually the uh, bench players would all get up and the uh, court players would sit down and everyone would gather around uh, board. But as you can see right now, uh, our Hillers are in a big circle unlike anything that we're used to seeing. And of course, as people can tell, uh, the lack of the fans is due to all the stuff in the gymnasium. Yeah, they have to keep their distance in those team huddles. And of course, the fans who would typically be in the stands are sitting at desks along the sidelines. And it, the fans are limited. Each player had two lanyards available that they were able to give out. And those are the only fans allowed in the gymnasium. And I'll try to get a shot of those uh, on the next whistle. Hillers will take it up court. Dacey feeds it back to Kane. Now Bruce driving down over to the right side, short corner up to Dacey. Over to Davies, feeds it out to Bruce. Bruce long two, no good. It is a Hiller's rebound as Dacey there to collect. Feeds it out over to the left side and taking a couple steps in and launching the shot is Kane, no good. Norwood has it. And here comes Grant off the glass, no good there. Rebound by Chorus to keep it in Norwood possession. Green driving down and it's stolen away by the Hillers as Shelby Jones got a hand on it. Dacey feeds it over to Kane. Long two there, no good off the iron. And a battle for it along the baseline. Out of play it goes. It will be Hiller's ball. Well, just an idea. Here's a shot of what the fans have to sit at. They're sitting at student desk. And they're all socially distant. 
Must be pretty nice, though, having the little table in front of you. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're eating a slice of pizza, but there's no concessions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we're, we're talking through mask right now. Jones up from the block, no good. And it'll be Norwood ball here. Yeah, one thing you see that they brought in, too, Tom, they uh, brought in the electronic whistles. You get a push foul called on Emma Dacey. Valley Cadet will have the entry. Into Reen she goes. And you're going to notice some differences in the format of the game. And one of the biggest differences is the halftime break, rather than the typical 10 minutes, it's only about two and a half minutes. Right. So not a whole lot of and, game planning time and, at the and, half. And they can't go into the uh, locker rooms. So the, the kids, uh, and we, we talked about that with uh, uh, Coach Keen on, on the show a couple of weeks ago where uh, normally how nice the players dress to go to games, especially his team, uh, all in shirt and tie, and now they actually have to show up in their uniforms because there is no locker rooms. Another foul on Lexi Bruce, shot is no good from Delamore, put back by Cadet, no good, but she grabs her own rebound, feeds it out over to Vendetti, launches the pass over to Chorus, up and in she goes. A two to two game, four minutes, 50 seconds and counting left to go in the first quarter. As the Hillers take it down, pass over to the corner to Davies who will put it up and in. Nice shot there by Elena Davies. Norwood works it back up the floor. Lauren Reen driving in, up with the right-handed lay-in, and it's good. Scoring getting started on both sides. Dacey will take it down, feeds it over to Davies, driving in, up with the right hand, draws the contact. And she's heading to the line for two. Sophia Vendetti with her first foul of the game, first team foul for Norwood. And so people aren't confused at home, this is not a technical throw. This is how they're doing the, the uh, free throws now. No one at the line for the first throw, and they come in for the second. And that's a great point, and it's limited people at the line for the second one. Right. Each team can have two players. A lot of stuff to get used to. A little easier than what we had to do with soccer and field hockey. Especially soccer. Yeah, soccer was a little tough. Davies with the second free throw, no good there. And it's a Norwood rebound. Here comes Chorus, driving down, feeds it to the short corner, up for the shot off the rim, and no good is Delamore. And a battle for the ball along the baseline now. The Hillers have it. Able to wrap it up was Flanagan. Driving in, up for the shot, no good is Dacey. And here comes Norwood back up the floor. Chorus driving in, and she draws the contact. A five to four, Hiller's lead. Well, I want to take this moment to uh, say hello to all the uh, volunteers at home that would normally be here tonight. People like John and Mary um, that are probably watching the game at home that would be running cameras. And if you notice, we only have one camera, minimum staff. Uh, due to COVID, uh, not only does it cut down your, your your spaces on your players, but also cuts down your TV crew. So uh, we are keeping things at a minimum for that reason. All right, and we'll certainly uh, miss our volunteers this season. It's always fun having the full team on hand. And also a big hello to all the Hillers fans out there and the Norwood fans who are tuning in tonight. Yeah, it's nice that all the... Uh, TV stations of the TVL have gotten together and we're, we're making it possible to uh, keep everyone apprised where they can watch uh, their uh, Hillers play when they're not in town. Alexa Chorus hit the second of two free throws to tie it up at five. Missed shot there by Flanagan. Battle along the baseline. Norwood comes away with it as Delamore was able to feed it out. Pass up over the left block off the glass. No good is Chorus. Put back is no good. Chorus trying to get in there and pull it down, we do have a foul. Who's it on? It looks like it's going to be an offensive foul. Or check that, it is going to be on the Hillers. Uh, yeah, on the Hillers. We're gonna get Flanagan with the contact. Team fourth for the Hillers. 
Also shortened rosters. Varsity team, rather than having the typical 15 players, only allowed to have 12. And I'm not sure what the JV regulation is, but I can tell you both of these teams have eight players on the roster. Caitlin Grant over to the right wing of Chorus, driving in up for the left-handed shot, no good. And it's pulled down by Flanagan. That's Bethel Flanagan, a freshman shooting guard. Kane feeds it up. Now here goes Flanagan down the lane, up for the shot, and no good. Collecting the rebound is Chorus. Chorus driving up over to the left side. Feeds it up top over to Reen. Reen with the back pass over to Caitlin Grant. Grant calls it out, driving in. And the shot waved off. Get, some, get a moving violation there, Hiller's ball. Yeah, I can see where the players come to the scorer's table. Uh, when they check in, only one player at a time. And plenty of hand sanitizer on hand for all the players. Yeah, you got to put it on when you're coming out and put some on when you're going in. Hillers trying to get the lead back, driving in, launching the shot. No good is Kane. Norwood has it, here comes Chorus. She'll feed it up over to Reen, up for the lane, no good. And it's knocked out of bounds off the hands of Shelby Jones. Shelby Jones, a sophomore, I believe she was called up to the varsity squad last year late in the season for the playoff run. We get another timeout. I would think it's a Norwood timeout. 2.19 left to go in the first quarter, a five to five game. Some good hustle on both sides and a good defensive battle. Both teams really defending the interior well. So this is our first broadcast of the fall two season. Yep. I'm sorry, the, the winter season. Winter That's season. That's right, winter comes before fall two, <laughs> right. Whew. And uh, first broadcast, and we're going to be followed up with a bunch of other uh, sports. What's going on tomorrow, Tom? Well, first off, we'll have the uh, varsity game after this game's through. That game will start at about 6.30. And then tomorrow, 3.40 p.m., we'll be over at the New England Sports Center as the Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey team will take on Norwood. The two met up in Norwood's home rink a couple days ago. The Hillers got the win there. Mm -hmm. So they're hoping for a repeat performance. And then on Sunday, we're back here at the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center for boys basketball. We'll have the JV game at 12.30, and we'll have the varsity game at 2, and we'll also have a stream of the freshman game available as well. Right. And if there's any luck and we get some cold weather, they'll be able to make some snow over there in Shrewsbury, and uh, John Ritz will bring you all the alpine skiing. That's right. On Thursday evenings at 6.15. And we'll certainly keep you up to date with all our broadcasts every week on our website, hcam.tv, as well as our social media pages. And Diddy will give it up. A three there, a little long by Grant. Ooh, and kept a it good, nicely. Nice dive and save there by Bruce. Here comes the Hillers. Bruce driving in and all kinds of contact there. She'll draw the foul. It's going to be on the floor. Yeah, it was a push. I think it was more of a reach that turned into a push. We're going to get Lauren Reen with the contact. Hillers will have the entry from the near side. Kelsey McCoy on the inbound. And it was tapped back court. And then knocked out of bounds off of Grant. And the official saying Grant got the first hand on it. So it will be Hillers ball. McCoy on the entry. Here comes Bruce. Bruce feeds it up to Flanagan. Stolen away by Chorus. Chorus on a break. Off the glass, no good, but draws the contact. I'll give him two shots right there. So push call there. Guilty party is Kelsey McCoy, team fifth for Hopkinton. It's incredible and, and also eerie how quiet it is inside the Athletic Center. I mean, Grant, this is a, a JV game, but the, the fans do really make the difference. 
and it just feels so empty. I mean, I'm even hearing the echo in our voices when we're talking. I know. I'm, I feel like I'm announcing a golf match. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've never heard you so quiet. <laughs> we'll certainly miss the uh, pep band this season. Absolutely. That was a, a great little thing that Coach Keen was able to uh, get the music department to promote. And, um, and the kids really liked it. He certainly did. His course hit both free throws, a 7-5 Norwood lead. McCoy going to draw some contact as she fed it over to Bruce. It'll be a team third for Norwood. They get Alexa Chorus with the foul. Hillers will have the entry from the far side. Feeds it over to Bruce. Oh, she got out of that trouble pretty good. Kane. Oh. Now it's Davies. Davies driving in up from the block, and in she goes. Elena Davies with five of the seven Hillers points. Green feeds it over to Grant. A kick out there over to Alexa Chorus. Launches the three, no good. Grabs the, her own rebound, drives down, feeds it over to the left block. Up for the shot, no good is Federico. Norwood still maintains possession as the quick hustling Alexa Chorus able to get to it. Driving from up top now, feeds it over to the short corner. And a missed two there by Federico. Collected along the corner by Venditti. Venditti over to Chorus. Chorus around the defender, up for the lay and draws the contact. A great possession there by Norwood. Yeah, very good possession. They got to reset the clock a couple times. Uh, you know, they were there for the rebounds. And they had about four rebounds in that possession. And that was just good hustle there. I have a feeling this is going to be a game that goes down to the wire. I think so. I like those nice close games. Now Alexa Chorus doing well from the free throw line as she hits the first of two. She's four for five from the stripe. Can she make it five for six? Got it. Nothing but net. A 9-7 Norwood lead. 42.9 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Back and forth we go here at the Athletic Center. Driving down up for the shot and no good is Keen. Ooh, and she's walking. called for the travel. One step too many there. Federico on the entry to Reen. Also another difference you'll notice is on the inbound, the defender has to stay about six feet away so you won't see any of those quick steal attempts on right. many of the inbounds. On the far side, that's Reen. She'll feed it up top over to Chorus. Back now to Grant. Now to Chorus, driving in from the wing, up for the shot, no good. It'll rattle out, and then we'll have a follow on the rebound attempt by Venditti. Well, I'm, I'm waiting to see what, what's going to happen. I, I think we're going to see a lot more soft press than hard pressing going on. Um, this year, as we talked to Coach Keen about, which he's famous for pressing for about three and a half quarters a game. Uh, we'll see how that changes things up here. Sophia Venditti misses the first of two. She's a freshman forward. On the back end, no good. Killers have it. Here comes Davies, driving in, up for the shot, no good. And that is at the buzzer, that's no good. That's gonna do it for the first quarter. After one quarter of play, we got a good one here in this JV contest. It's Norwood nine, Hopkinton seven. You are watching Hopkinton Hillers girls JV basketball on HCAM. And we'll take a look at the scoring totals for both teams so far. And there are two players in the books for both sides. Uh, Norwood, you got Lauren Reen with two points. Alexa Chorus with seven. And on the Hillers side, you got Elena Davies with five and Emma Dacey with two. And it's nine to seven after one. 
as you can see, the uh, move to the fresh ball and uh, Coach Dick Bliss to on the uh, scorer's table there. I think he's around the shot clock tonight. Is um, wiping down the old ball, ready for the next play. So a lot, a lot of precautions being taken here. Uh, one of the biggest precautions, uh, one of the biggest cautions that they take it in was the entrance for the fandom. <laughs> fandom has to now come in through, what you say, C11? C11. Which is right over there, Tom. So that's the seaside of the building. So the fans now have to come in the back, which is great because it comes right into the athletic center. They're now coming all the way through the atrium, down the stairs, into the lower uh, atrium, and into the athletic center. So they're really doing a good job uh, cutting that down. I was wondering how they were going to do that. Um, granted, it is, it is uh, the furthest door from the parking lot, but hey, if that's the concessions you make, you know, the fans are just also very thankful that they were able to grab a lanyard to get into the game. Yeah, and we're certainly happy to have uh, some of the fans here able to come enjoy the action. Yeah, yeah they are right down below there in the, in the seats. That's very nice. And we hope you're all enjoying the action at home. So we mentioned earlier that Hiller's boys hockey got a win on the road against Norwood. They opened up the season with a 5-1 to one win. Pavit Mira netted a hat trick to start off the season. What a way to start off the season there with the hat trick. Quentin Barnes had the game winner on a face-off win from Jeff Toko and Colin Norwood. Uh, Colin Norwood stopped 19 out of 20 shots from Norwood. And Aiden Walsh tipped in a Ronnie Sheamus to cap off the Hillers scoring in the 5-1 to one win versus Norwood this past Wednesday evening. Mm -hmm. And we'll have Hillers Norwood hockey tomorrow at 3.40 p.m. from the New England Sports Center in Marlboro. And for the first time, too, you're going to be able to watch hockey live on HKM Ed. You don't have to sit at your computer or your tablet. You can sit on your, your couch in the living room and watch it on Verizon 31, Comcast 96 in Hopkins. You get Thaly Cadet with some contact, Hiller's ball. And if you don't have HCAM Ed, just get the YouTube app on your smart TV. There you go. Go watch that one. Bruce along the far side feeds it over to Dacey. Dacey over to Kane. Now over to Davies, driving in, up and in she goes. Elena Davies having a nice evening so far, seven points for her. Elena Davies, the freshman, certainly a player to look out for in the future years for the Hillers as that one is knocked out of play. Goes off the hand of Shelby Jones, Norwood Ball. So Tom, speaking of the uh, YouTube app, subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get a notification every time we go live. Very good point. You'll get a whole lot of them this weekend for Hiller's Sports. <laughs> That's right. Green feeds it up to Chorus. Back to Reen. Reen over to Venditti, up for the shot, and it looked like getting a piece of it was Shelby Jones. It is collected by Chorus. Oh, off her foot. Stolen away now by Kane. Kane on a break. Takes it to the rack, and a nice block there by Reen. And a battle for the ball along the baseline. It will stay in Hiller's possession. We're underway here in the second quarter. 6.46 left to go. Looks like see Bruce on the entry. Over to Kane. Feeds it in, up. And no good there was Davies, and the put it back, that's no good. And the Hillers still maintaining possession, and now drawing the foul is Shelby Jones. Nice job underneath by the Hillers, and Shelby Jones heading to the line. They get Alexa Chorus with her second foul. Team fourth for Norwood. First of two, no good. A nine to nine game here in the early minutes of the second quarter. Yeah, something new too for our viewers. Uh, you see that the 
the screens are down on either end. That's to keep the ball from traveling into those makeshift classrooms that are on the other side. Normally they're up because that's where we have our, you know, the student sections and we have our under the hoop cameras, which we're not using. Good steal there by Davies. It was knocked out by Reen as the Hillers have the entry. Here comes Kane. Feeds it back to Davies. Around the perimeter they go. Over to Davies and no, it will Ooh. fall off the rim. The kick out, able to collect is Bruce. Nice rebound there by Shelby Jones. Davies trying to feed it over to Kane. A little too much on that one. Off the hand of Kane and out of play it goes. And I'm sure uh, athletic director Rich Cormier is relieved that he doesn't have to go too far to chase down those balls. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah, the soccer balls and the, uh, it was mostly the soccer balls that were kicked over the fence and into the woods over there on field five. And Reen trying to feed it inside, but the only one there, Shelby Jones. Here comes the Hillers. Kane. Dacey. Up from the block and in. Second field goal for Emma Dacey. She has four points. Well, there's a little press there. And a successful press as Shelby Jones gets another steal. Hmm. And double dribble. Norwood basketball. I think the Hillers starting to get a little more aggressive with the press in the defensive zone. Keep that pressure on. And so far they've come up with a couple of turnovers. Grant feeds it over to Reen, up for three, no good, off the back iron. It is a Norwood rebound. Driving in and going up and in is Alexa Chorus. She has nine points on the evening. Kane, over to Dacey. Now Jones up for the shot, no good. Looks like a little block there. Here comes Norwood quickly up the floor. Grant feeds it out over to the wing, up for three and no good. Put back, no. Loose ball, it is collected and put in by Grant. Nice job underneath by Norwood. 13 to 11, Norwood lead. 4.30 and counting left to go in the first half. Dacey over to Bruce. Davies back to Dacey. Trying to feed it over to Bruce and a little bit too much there. It'll be Norwood ball. Yeah, I think we got a Hopkins timeout right now. We indeed do. 4.16 left to go. In the second quarter, a nice competitive game we got going here in the JV1 matchup. Norwood 13, Hopkins 10, 11. And don't forget, we'll have the Varsity game following this one. That game will tip off in about an hour from now at 6.30. And also don't forget, there's shorter halftime breaks. That's right, shorter halftimes. About two and a half minutes for the halftime break rather than the 10 minutes, so... These games will be moving a lot quicker, and you wonder how that will affect these players because especially when you have a short roster with eight players such as these two teams running the floor throughout the entire first half, you like that 10-minute break. Well, you, you need that because that is just like in every sport at halftime. That's where the game can change. And why does the game change? It's usually the coaches talk in that locker room. <laughs> Or, or sometimes even a captain's talk, somebody's talk that gets a team pumped uh, and it gives them a chance. All right, we analyzed the first half. These are the changes we need to make. Now you don't, instead of 10 minutes, you got two and a half minutes to try to describe that. Now you can't even sit down in a locker room. And, I mean, you have to get a corner of the gym and whisper. Right. <laughs> you know, how do you get your team pumped up? When you're whispering to them because you don't want the other team to hear what you're saying. So it's 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 hard. It, it, here's the other fun fact, the, uh, the mask. You know, we just watched the news all weekend talking about college having to wear a mask. Well, these kids did it in the, uh, in, the, in the fall, and these girls seem to have no problem with it. We knew this was going to happen. Practice for it. Overcome. Right. 
they're just happy to be out there. Absolutely. Green over to Grant. Grant thought about it, now surrounded by defenders. Able to get it over to Delamore, up for the shot, no good on the long two. It is collected, but stepping out of bounds is Thali Cadet. It'll be Hiller's ball, 3.55 left to go. Kane will take it up. Feeds it over to Davies. Driving down, up for the lane, no good off the bottom of the hoop, collected by Venditti. Here comes Norwood, along the near side, Reen launches the three, got it. Oh, that was a long three. Swishes it right through, a 16 to 11 Norwood lead. Kane feeds it back over to McLean. Driving in, drawing the contact is Elena Davies. Julia McLean, a late addition to this Hillers roster. Subbing in for uh, inactive player on the roster. She's gonna make these two count here. Hopkins needs these. First two for Davies, got it. Yeah. Now the players come in after the first shot. Two players for each team and she hits the second. Nice, that takes the edge off right there. Hillers oh. putting the pressure on and out of play it goes. Someone wasn't looking. Off the pass from Reen. It looks like she was trying to get it towards Sophia Venditti. A little miscommunication there. Kelsey McCoy will have the entry for the Hillers. Feeds it over to the wing along the baseline, up and in is Caroline Kane. Nice little hook, line, and sinker there. Driving down, and no good off the glass, collected by McLean. Off the missed chorus shot, and here comes the Hillers on the attack, and going up for the lane was Davies. She draws contact. They're gonna get Sophia Venditti with her second. First shot, no good. Elena Davies, three for five from the strike. Make it four for six. Very cool. Knotted up at 16 apiece with 2.52 left to go in the second quarter. Here comes Chorus, driving the lane, up for the lane, no good off the rim. Hillers have it, collected by Davies. Davies along the right wing. Feeds it up to McCoy. Now pass back over to McLean. Now it's stolen away by Grant, driving in, up with the left hand, no good. And it is gonna go out of bounds. It looked like McLean got the last touch. Yeah. No, a lot of opportunities on these layups. They're just having trouble finishing. You know, either just uh, hang the side of the net or it just rolls across the other side of the rim. Venditti on the entry. Feeds it into Reen. Driving in. Nice pass into the interior. Up and in goes Alexa Chorus. Alexa Chorus with 11 points on the night for Norwood. Dacey feeds it out to Bruce. Driving in, up for the shot. It's good and one. Nice. See if we make it three the old fashioned way, Tom. Alexis Bruce with an opportunity to give the Hillers the lead with 2.06 left to go here in the second quarter. On the end one. No good. Collected by Chorus. Pass up over to Grant. Grant driving in. Up with the right-handed lay-in. No good. 
Along the near side, and Kors comes away with it. Nice Kors with the behind the back. Driving in, off the glass and in. Some smooth moves by Alexa Kors. Dacey over to McCoy, up for three. No good off the front of the rim. Morris will work it up the floor. We're going to get a Norwood timeout with 126 left to go in the first half. It is Norwood 20, Hopkinton 18. This has been a great battle uh, open up the you, season. A lot of back and forth. Uh, this is just exactly the kind of game you want to see. Normally we don't do the sub varsity levels, and it's nice when you can see how competitive they are. And it, it makes it, you know, of course, fun for us. makes it fun for uh, the parents, and of course, it makes it fun for the kids. No one wants a blowout. They want to. They want to compete. They want. They want to be challenged, and uh, it's it's nice to see uh, that they're making it happen. And it's nice to see how even they are. You know, everyone's a, playing by the same rules. No one could practice early. No one could do anything. Everyone's restricted. So it just seems like, uh, you know, I think we're gonna hopefully see this for the rest of the season. I think so, and one thing to keep in mind, these JV games this year are going to be mo even more competitive than normal because the varsity team is only allowed to have 12 players maximum instead of the regular 15. Right, which I, I think is it's great for that uh, JV player that would be sitting on the bench at varsity. Instead, they're going to be uh, uh, getting a lot of court time uh, down at JV, which is, which is nice. It's nice to play. Right. But, and, and again, as we talk to all the coaches, it's not just the games. It's all the stuff that happens that makes a season for these kids. The spag dinners, the scavenger hunts, uh, uh, after games to Wendy's, all these things they can't do anymore. Well, I'm sure they're still going to Wendy's here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Pass over to the near side. Stepping out of bounds was Venditti. Tried her best, but that left foot ended up stepping out. Hiller's ball. Here comes Lexi Bruce. 114 and counting left to go here in the first half. Around the horn they go. Dacey pulls up, launches the deep two. No good. A little wide. Coming away with it is Bruce. Back to Dacey now. Over to Flanagan. Bruce driving in between two defenders up for the lay, no good. The rebound there by Chorus. Alexa Chorus takes it up. Good feed to the right block, up and in goes Caitlin Grant. A four point lead for Norwood. 37 seconds and counting left to go. Dacey. Back to Bruce, now over to the wing. To McCoy, now it's Dacey. Back to McCoy, feeds it over, up and no good there. Rebound Jones as she goes up for the lane, will draw contact. Nice job by Shelby Jones in the right place at the right time there. And they get Alexa Chorus with her third. And that could be big for Norwood. Alexa Chorus, who has been the key player of this game with 13 points already with three fouls. So she'll have to watch out for the second half. Jones misses the first free throw. 18.2 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Second of two. Got it. First point of the night for Shelby Jones. Hiller is with the press as Chorus works her way up. Feeds it over to Reen. Green to Grant, driving in around the defender, up for the lay, no good. Loose ball, near side, collected by Reen. Over to Chorus, driving in from the wing. Up for the shot, it'll rattle out, and that'll do it for the second quarter. A great competitive game between these two JV teams. And after two quarters of play, it's Norwood 22, Hopkinton 19. We're going to take a breather, but... You can still enjoy the scenes of the Hopkinton Athletic Center. Third quarter coming up next on HCAM.
We are ready for the third quarter of play. As we enter the third, it is Norwood 22, Hopkinton 19. Let's take a look at the scoring totals so far. We'll start off with Hopkinton. Emma Dacey with four points. Lexi Bruce with two. Caroline Kane with two. Elena Davies, the team leader, with 10. Shelby Jones with one. For Norwood, Caitlin Grant with four. Lauren Reen with five. Alexa Chorus leading the way with 13 points. Hillers will have the possession to start off the third. Lexi Bruce on the entry. Goes backcourt to Dacey. We have switched sides. Hopkinton now working right to left across your screen. Feeds it out up for three and an air ball there. Off the hands of Kane, out of play it goes. I believe it's gonna be Hiller's ball. Looks like uh, defender might've got a touch. Bruce on the entry. Feeds it over to Dacey. Takes it back out, over to Bruce, launches the three, no good. Swatted out of play, off the hand of Venditti. Hillers will maintain possession. And normally that would be a baseline entry, but right. there are no baseline entries during the action, only uh, with no defenders off uh, usually a bucket, as laying it in is Elena Davies. One of the contact rules this season. Pass down, here comes the leading scorer adding on, Alexa Chorus. She has 15 points on the night. Dacey. Over to Davies, feeds it over to Kane. Oh, lost it. Loose ball picked up. Bruce launching the three, air ball. And was it kept in? No. Good effort. Norwood basketball. Caroline Kane was trying to scoop it into play, but could not stay up long enough as Reen takes it up. Reen feeds it over, up for the shot, no good. Hillers collect as underneath to pull down the board was Davies. Davies trying to feed it in. It is swatted out by Chorus. But there to collect was Finnegan. Shot from the right side. No good by Dacey. Out of play it goes. Norwood ball. 6.27 left to go in the third quarter. I guess one of the positives about a shorter halftime break is a lot of times when a team has some great momentum towards the end of the second quarter, that the uh, long, the 10 minute break could ruin that momentum. And with the shorter break, perhaps uh, you'll see a lot more teams right. continuing to be red hot into the third quarter. Driving down up for the lay in and no good is Chorus. Yeah, cause you know when these kids are out on the court uh, outside of school, they're not taking a 10 minute halftime break. They're right. stopping, grabbing some water and then they're back out at it again. <laughs> Keeping the mojo moving. Nice finish there by Alexis Bruce. A 24-23 Norwood lead. Back and forth we go. Good feed to the block. There is a foul in the process. Shot is waved off. Chorus drew the contact. They get yeah, Lexi almost. Bruce with her second. That was a good foul there because it prevented yeah. a couple of points. Margaret Federico on the inbound. Try to feed it into Reen, who swatted out. And it will be Hiller's ball. Reen did get the last touch before it went out of play. Bruce over to Dacey. Stolen away by Chorus. So she'll break up the court. Goes up and in, plus the foul. An and one opportunity for Alexa Chorus. Norwood leading by three. <laughs> of 
Chorus trying to finish off the and one. No good. Hillers have it collected by Davies. She'll feed it up over to Bruce. Now up top to Dacey. Over to Kane. Kane steps back, tries to launch a three. Good block there by Chorus. Feeds it over to Dacey. Drives in, up for the shot, and in she goes. Emma Dacey with six points for the Hillers. Green working up the near side. Off the hand of Federico, and it's collected by Jones. And here comes Dacey. Yeah, we got to score on these turnovers. And it's stripped away from Kane by Reen. Reen going to feed it over to Chorus, up with the left hand, and in. Alexa Chorus having quite a night for Norwood. She has 19 points. Timeout called by the Hillers. Yeah, I think it's time to we got to figure out how to shut her down because she's making all her layups. If she keeps doing that, I don't think it'll be long until she gets the call up to the varsity level. Right. If they got room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone would have to come down or someone's injured. And you don't want any injuries. Certainly an impressive player. And she is just a freshman. So oh look boy. out for Alexa oh boy. Chorus. Oh boy, we're gonna see her a lot. I think so. Norwood uh, certainly has a very bright future. See, th those are one of those players that I was telling you about by not being called up to Varsity, where they'd more likely be on the bench. Here you get to shine. Right, we get you to know? scout a little. Yeah. We'll know who to look out for. This is awesome. A 28 to 20. Oh, a couple, couple other changes, Todd, that I want to mention that uh, we talked about our scorer's table. Normally this packed with, with four or five people at that table, but now you have your, your scorer, uh, timekeeper, and shot clock, and in the back is your official scorer. Normally there would be a scorer for each team keeping the official scores right. so they could check each other, but thank you, COVID, another thing that you're doing without. So many, 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 many changes, but yet, the play seems to be not affected by those changes. Well, the play so far here tonight has been terrific. Oh, so over here. Hiller is on the entry. Here comes Kane. Feeds it back over to Dacey. Aaron pass, no one can get to it. A little collision there between Bruce and Davies. A little off the mark there. Yep. Norwood with possession, leading by three. Feeds it over to Grant. Grant driving down around the defender, draws the contact. Nice job by Caitlin Grant finding a little room in the lane, working her way down, and the guilty party there is going to be Bruce. First to two, no good. Second of two, no. And the Hillers have it, collected by Jones. Feeds it up to Kane. Kane back to McCoy. Now Flanagan will launch the long two from up top, no good. Collected by Reen. Reen flings it down the far side of course, driving in, and she lost her footing, and it's stripped away by Davies. Here goes Davies on the break. Up with the right hand, no good. Put back, no good there. Battle for the ball, collected by Davies, and she's able to keep it in. Feeds it out. Over to the left elbow to Flanagan. Flanagan from the elbow, launches the two, no good off the front of the rim. Loose ball in the lane and it's collected by Chorus. Down to Grant, up for the shot, no good and it is batted out of bounds. Went off the hand of Flanagan as Venditti tried to put it back and there was some contact. So we'll get Bethel Flanagan with her second. Team fourth for the Hillers here in the second half. 
Ben Diddy on the first of two, no good. Second of two for the freshman. No good, a little off the mark there. Collected by Jones. Feet up to the left wing to McCoy, driving in up from the block, no good. Collected by Chorus. And Chorus lost it as she was contested by Jones. All kinds of contact there. It's one of those reaches turn into a push on you. It's Shelby Jones with her first. Miller is with five fouls here in the half. They'll have to look out. And she took too long. Five seconds. Yep, a five second violation. Hiller's ball. McCoy into Kane. We should be seeing less of those. It was good. Without, uh, without anyone in, uh, on top of you like that. It was good coverage by the yeah. Hillers. Stolen away by Chorus. On a quick break up the lane, off the glass, no good. Put back, no. Battle for the ball underneath, and it's pulled down by Kane. Kane trying to feed it up the far side. What a steal by Reen. Reen over to the right elbow, up for the two, and no good is Venditti. Out of play it goes, Hillers ball. That was a great battle in the lane. And we're going to get a timeout called by Norwood. 2.59 left to go in the third quarter. It is Norwood 28, Hopkinton 25. And Mike, at this point, I don't think there's any doubt this game's going right down to the wire. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'd love to see uh, Hopkins be able to uh, take advantage of all their turnovers that they're forcing. They're forced a bunch of turnovers that when they... Um, Bring it back to their net. It's just not finishing. And I'd uh, love to see those points finish. Um, that would make uh, a big difference. And I think that would, you know, bring it even a tighter gap, maybe us uh, being ahead. But 25-28 is not bad for what we're seeing here today. Uh, love the back and forth. The back and forth is outstanding. It certainly is. Some really good defensive play and... Both teams doing a great job under the boards on both sides and some great hustle as well. Right. And don't forget, tipping off 6.30, we'll have the varsity game. Looking forward to that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. did you say tipping off? <laughs> at 6, at 6.30. Did you say tipping off? Tipping off. No tip offs, remember? Oh, that's right, <laughs> oh, that's right. We gotta come up oh. with a new one. I mean, granted, remember we still kept kept calling them in soccer, we kept calling them throw-ins and corner kicks, and even though those were modified. But we can't tip off now. That's right, very oh. true. I, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Inbound at 6.30? <laughs> do we inbound yeah. at 6.30? Inbounding at 6.30, I love them. Varsity oh, inbounds. Boy. <laughs> Hey, not only the kids are adapting, we're adapting too. Right. <laughs> Kane feeds it over to Davies. And here's a long two from the left wing. No good by Flanagan. Battle for the ball. Coming away with it is Alexa Chorus. Feeds it up top. Ream for three. No good. Chorus with the rebound. Driving in around the defender. Up with the left hand. And in she goes. Plus the contact. And and one opportunity. Yeah, they got to shut that down. It is certainly uh, not an easy task as they get Kelsey McCoy with her third. Mm. Norwood up by five. Of course, trying to make it six on the end one attempt. No good, but it is the Norwood rebound. Oh. And it's stripped away. And now a battle for it. It was a great steal by Kane, but then getting in there was Reen, and they're going to get Reen with contact. That'll be her second. I thought it was going to be, wow, that was a, that was a quick uh, um, jump ball, and sure enough, went for the contact. Davies with the entry to Kane. 
Over to Flanagan, driving in, up with the right-handed shot, no good. Tipped in the air, and coming away with it is Reen. Reen takes it across. Over to the left block, up off the glass and in goes Kaylee Delamore for her first bucket. A seven point lead for Norwood as they're trying to pull away. Kane, over to the wing to Flanagan, driving the lane. Over to the right corner, long two, got it. Elena Davies, 14 points for Davies. Team leader for the Hillers. Taking it up court is Green. Feeds it over, driving in and drawing the foul is Alexa Chorus. Such a presence from underneath. No, we already in the bonus. On the first of two, got it. I'm running out of space in my scorebook for Alexa Chorus. Ah. She has 22 points this evening. That is two thirds of the Norwood scoring. How's that math for you? Second free throw, no good. Here comes Davies down the lane, off the glass, no good. Battle for the ball, and it's rolling out, collected along the near side by Dacey. Feeds it up over to Bruce. Now up top, that's Flanagan. Coming in from the right corner is Davies. And it's stolen away by Chorus. Pass up to Reen, over to the right wing, up for three, off the glass, no good. And it is collected by Davies. Davies works it up the lane, up and in with the right hand. Elena Davies, 16 points on the night, pulls the Hillers within four. 46 seconds and counting left to go in the third quarter. Nearly a steal there, we're gonna get it back. No, oh. surprising. I think they might've got away with one there. Chorus over to Delmore. Thought that would've been backcourt, but. Not if the other player touched the ball, ah, I that, guess. I thought she got a touch on it while it was backward, but apparently not. Uh. Alexa Chorus drawing the contact. But I think the defender sent it and it hit the ground on the back on, on their hit and allowed them to pick it up again. Well, these officials have been tremendous so far tonight, so. Yeah, very good game. Absolutely. First of two, good. Alexa Chorus having quite a night. She is seven for 10 from the line. Second of two, got it. Bruce on the entry. Here comes Daisy. Feeds it back. Dacey for three. No. It is collected by McLean. Feeds it up to Dacey. And now coming in is Flanagan. Over to the left wing. Up for the long two goes Davies. No good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Just 1.6 seconds left to go in the quarter. So this will pretty much be a pass and shoot situation here for the Hillers. Julia McLean on the entry. Feeds it over to Dacey, gets the shot off, no good, falls short, and that's gonna do it for the third quarter. After three quarters of play, it is Norwood 35, Hopkinton 29, quite a game we have going here. And we'll have the final eight minutes coming up in just a few minutes, but some great entertaining basketball, Mike. Yeah, it's very uh, well, a lot of back and forth, which is great. No uh, one-sidedness. Um, everyone's getting a shot on the ball. Free throws are being made. Curris is just outstanding. 
And as you're adding up all those scores, it's like I don't know how you can see those numbers, but. Don't ask. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how you can talk and write and keep track of the numbers like that, but God bless you. So, yep, there's Dick Bliss uh, cleaning off the ball for next time over there. Good job by uh, staff keeping everything going here. Let's take a look at the scoring total so far as we head into the fourth quarter. For the Hillers, Emma Dacey has six. Alexis Bruce with four. Caroline Kane with two. Team leader, Elena Davies with 16 points. Shelby Jones with one. For Norwood, it is Caitlin Grant with four. Lauren Reen with five. Kaylee Delamore with two. And your team leader, Alexa Chorus, 24 points. And another quarter to go. So if you had Alexa Chorus in your fantasy basketball league, you're having a good night. <laughs> Not everyone thinks about starting their freshman, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, she might be able to start at the varsity level. With the oh, way yeah. She's playing tonight. Absolutely. Impressive player. Hiller's JV, led by head coach Shani Gaudette, assisted by Will Collins, athletic trainer Amanda Magier, athletic director Rich Cormier. And we look forward to the varsity game coming up at 6.30. And tomorrow, Hiller Sports continues against Norwood. Boys hockey at 3.40 from the New England Sports Center. And what time does the puck drop? <laughs> Can we say puck drop? There will be face-offs, There will right? be face-offs, okay. yep. So we'll, something, <laughs> something stays We up. can say puck drop. <laughs> we can say puck drop, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, Sunday, we're back here at the Athletic Center for yes. boys basketball, starting at 12.30 with JV. I'll be here right after the church service uh, at 10.30 on HCAM, uh, combined Christian Sunday service. Reen takes it up for Norwood. Final quarter of play here in this JV game. Grant driving down up with a scoop shot, no good. Grabs her own rebound, puts it back, no good. And it's collected by Kane. Kane taking it up, getting a hand in there was Chorus. And we have a foul. They're going to get Alexa Chorus with contact. And that's her fourth. So she'll need to be careful the rest of this fourth quarter. She's been on the floor pretty much every minute of this game. Mm -hmm. Or every second, I should say. Kane over to Dacey. Along the baseline, up, and no, it falls out. Loose ball, it is going to stay in Hiller's possession. Up the turnaround shot was Kane, no good. Put back is no good by Davies, and Norwood has it. Green feeds it over to Chorus. Now up to Federico. Along the block, pass over to the corner to Venditti. Green trying to feed it in, and it's taken away by Bruce. Bruce, nice pass there. Oh. And a little bit. Too much in front of Kane as she couldn't get to it in time. Feeds it up to Reen, up for the lane, no good. Good defense underneath by Dacey. Hiller's trying to attack once again. Davies takes it to the rack, up and in she goes. Big bucket there for Elena Davies as she pulls the Hillers within four. And she has 18 points tonight. Reen feeds it up to Venditti. Driving down, pass over to the wing to Reen, up for three, no good, loose ball, and it's out. Hillers will have it. Both of these teams running the floor really well. Bruce on the entry to Dacey. Feeds it over to Kane. Kane from the elbow and in. Oh. Big bucket there, Hiller's within two. Oh, long two. Reen takes it up and calls it out. Venditti back to Reen, driving in, up for the shot, no good, little wide, and it's collected by Kane. Kane oh, sure. takes it up for the Hillers, up from the block, and she'll draw contact from Reen. 
We'll get Lauren Reen with her fourth huge opportunity here for Caroline Kane. She'll have an opportunity to tie the game with 5.59 left to go. First of two, no. And we're going to get a blue. timeout by the Hillers. No, no. It, oh. It, he said timeout blue. Icing the shooter. Yeah. 5.59 left to go. Norwood 35, Hillers 33. Caroline Kane will have one more free throw after the timeout. But the Hillers, they uh, were trailing early on in this fourth quarter by seven, but they have quickly worked their way back in. Yeah, it's... Uh, I tell you, the pace hasn't changed. They are still scrappy, which is awesome. Because uh, of the turnovers, now they just have to finish them. Finish those turnovers, get those points up, and then um, then they can walk away with the W tonight. But if you uh, told me this was the varsity game, I would have believed it. They're playing really well out there. It's been a great game. Exactly. I mean, you, you do see the size difference. Uh, that's how you know it's a JV game, but they, they play like play like uh, two varsity teams right here. They certainly are, and I think there's a bright future for both teams. And both teams certainly have a lot of talent on their varsity rosters as well, so we should have a whole lot of good basketball tonight. Right. But what, what's what's terrible is because the Hopkins program is so large, starting all the way down to the youth level up to here that it's terrible the numbers that have to be cut uh, due to the uh, COVID restrictions because normally you'd have, what, 20 on the roster, <laughs> you know? Well, in varsity, you'd have 15. You can have as much as 12. So you got to cut three there. And and that trickles down, though. Right. I think it's three less, pretty much. And the second free throw by Kane, no good. Here comes Norwood, and too long of a pass there from Reen. Hillers get it back. A little too much busted on that pass. And the Hillers varsity team arriving to their desks as Kane works it up the floor. We'll show you that at the next whistle. Dacey drives in, up for the shot. No, it'll rattle out. It is collected by the Hillers. Up off the oh. rebound is Jones, and she draws the foul. She's heading to the line for two. And before the shot, let's just show you how the teams have to come in. The teams have their own seats that they have to sit in. They just can't uh, get into warm-ups. So back to the action. First shot by Jones, no good. That was a great rebound by Jones. It was placed perfectly underneath the bucket. An opportunity here to put the Hillers within one. Just a little short. And stepping out of bounds was Venditti. It'll be Hiller's ball. Five thirty-eight left to go in the fourth quarter. It's a two-point game. And a little contact there on the inside. Yeah, they're going to get uh, Caitlin Grant with her second. Bruce on the entry. Feeds it in over to Kane. Now it's up to Dacey. Over to the wing of Flanagan. And trying to get into the corner, and it was nearly taken away, but taking it back as Flanagan drives in. Up for the shot, it'll rattle out. Rebound Bruce, puts it up and in. And we are knotted up at 35 apiece. Valley Cadet nearly had the steal, but what a job staying with it by Flanagan. The shot there, Reen kicks it out over to Grant. On the right wing, now up top to Reen. Grant. Back to Reen, running out of time on the shot clock. Two seconds left, they gotta get a shot off, and they will not. Hiller's ball, great defensive stand. Some awesome, awesome defense by the Hillers right there. Lexi Bruce on the inbound. Dacey works it up. 
Over to Kane, launches the three, no. Collected by Grant. Here comes Norwood. We're knotted up at 35 apiece, 435 and counting left to go in the fourth quarter. Green feeds it underneath, up, no good. That was Venditti on the attempt. It is collected by Shelby Jones. Here comes Kane. Over to Dacey. She'll fake, drives in, trying to feed it out. Able to get it to Jones as it went off the defender. Jones lays it up and in. Big time layup by Shelby Jones and the Hillers have a two point lead with 4.07 left to go and a timeout called by Norwood. Well, the momentum is tipping, Mike. It started off in the favor of Norwood at the beginning of this fourth quarter as they pulled ahead by seven. But the Hillers fought their way back and now they lead it by two. Yeah, and it just shows you uh, how the turnovers are making the difference here. Yeah, we are finishing now on the turnovers, but Norwood's uh, making some mistakes. I think they're, they're in a hurry, a little too much of a hurry. And, um, you know, I mean, what, what, you know, you get plenty of time on the clock, you get a lead, use the clock. But yet, the cause of turnovers are passing the ball a little too fast. And, and um, I, I think, you know, Hopkinton was able to beat him on that mistake. Well, it should be an exciting finish for sure. Here in this JV game, it has been back and forth momentum shifts all game long. Four to, to Jim. And we are in for a wild finish. Four oh seven left to go. Hiller's up by two. On the entry, Van Diddy. Green will take it up. Trying to feed it underneath. Good defense there as it was swatted away by Davies as they were looking for Chorus. Here comes the Hillers. Kane feeds it out, up for three. Dacey off the back iron, off the top of the hoop, and no good. Collected by Delamore. Green works her way up. Driving in, and no good there is Chorus, but we do have a foul. And Alexa Chorus going to the line. They silenced her for a while, but you can only silence Alexa Chorus for so long. And she is once again at the strike. No good. Second of two. No good there, but she's able to steal it back up for the lane. No good, put back no good, and a secondary put back is no good, and the Hillers have it. There you go, now they have to chip on this and sink it. Davies driving in, up with the hook shot and in, plus the foul. Elena Davies, 20 points on the night. And the Hillers are up by four. This is huge right here. This is huge. Big momentum swing. They got Caitlin Grant with her third foul. Sink this and call it 40 and then uh, timeout Norwood. How about Elena Davies underneath? She's pulled down some great Ooh. boards tonight. And she finishes off the and one. Hiller is up by five. Green hands it over to Grant. Driving down, up for the shot. No good, falls out. All kinds of collisions underneath. Out of bounds it goes. It will be Hiller's ball. Alexis Bruce on the entry. 
Here comes Caroline Kane. Leads it over to Dacey. Driving in, up, no good. Norwood has it. Off the Miss Kane shot, Venditti able to pull it down. Here comes Reen. Kick out to Grant, back to Reen, thought about it. Swatted away by Jones, but it lands in the hands of Chorus. And we have a charge. The 22. It'll be Hiller's ball. And it will indeed be on Chorus. That's her fifth foul She's on of board. the game. So wow. She is, uh, has reached her limit. One more and something's going on here. That'll be it. Oh yeah, they get. Do they still get a timeout now? And yeah, so they Hopkins gets a timeout now because of the fifth foul. So the Hillers will. And then they get to do a substitution. Have the timeout if they choose. Two thirty-eight left to go here in this fourth quarter. Hopkinton leading by five, and Mike, one of the keys of this fourth quarter has been the Hillers have silenced Alexa Chorus. Absolutely. And it's been in large part because of the defense from Elena Davies, who has been tremendous. Very strong underneath. They've switched to a, more of a man-to-man, -man or in this case, woman-to-woman -woman well, defense, and it's paid off. And now, and now how do you change it up now that Chorus is out of the game? And uh, what do you do? I mean, is it going to be easier on offense? Is it going to be, I mean, well, she, what kind of changes? She has five. Six is the one that gets you kicked out. So it's five. That's why we have the timeout. It's five. Oh, I thought it was six. We'll have a little study session uh, later. Yeah. It is no, five. five. You're right. That's right. I haven't yeah. done I haven't done basketball in a while. You remember, you can't <laughs> take it with you. We always said you can't take it with you. <laughs> So five, that's what yep. causes the timeout and the substitution if Hopkins chose desired. So Alexa Kors is fouled out. Here comes Kane. Feeds it over to Dacey. Back to Kane. Dacey up to Bruce, driving down, and a great block there by Cadet. Excuse me, that was Venditti on the block. Up and no good there. Hillers have it off the missed Federico shot. Good rebound by McCoy. Here comes Kane. Dacey for three, no. A little wide, out of play it goes. Who was it out on? And they call it out on Norwood, so Venditti got the last touch. Hillers will have the entry. Hopkinton leading by five, trying to hang on. Just under two minutes left. Up and no good by Dacey. Out of play it goes, but it was touched by a defender as Delamore was trying to reel it in. Could not hang on. Hillers maintained possession. Caroline Kane on the inbound. Feeds it to Bruce. Back to Kane. Bruce, out to Kane, driving in, up with the left hand, no! Rattles off the rim, and this time it was last touched by Jones as it goes out of bounds, Norwood ball. Reen takes it up. And I have to go, woohoo. Grant driving in, up for the shot, no good. And it was knocked out of bounds off of Jones, Norwood ball. Federico will have the entry. Breaks up the stack. Over to Reen. Driving down. Tries to swing it around for the shot. It's no good. Collected by Kane. Kane fires it up. That's Davies. Davies back to Kane. 
Kane driving in, good feed there. Up for the lay-in and no good is Jones. Put back no good, able to pull it down once again, kicks it out from up top three. No, Norwood has it. 50 seconds left to go. Green takes it up. Green for three, no, a little too much there. Loose ball, battle for it. And jump ball is called. Whose favor will it go towards? We do have a timeout by the Hillers. I believe they will hang on to the ball. I think the arrow's pointed our way. It is indeed. 34.8 seconds left to go. The Hillers leading by five, trying to hang on. And they have actually kept Norwood scoreless in this fourth quarter. Yeah, which is amazing. And again, that was the early shutdown of uh, Curris and, and, uh, and you know, following out is, uh, made a huge difference. But again, is that one of those things that they talked about in their two minute, time, two minute quarters, <laughs> two minute halftime, <laughs> you know? You got a lot of you got a lot of say in two minutes. Certainly do. I guess it, the two minutes paid off for the Hillers. Sure in this did. Case. Sure did. It, you know they didn't waver at all. You, you don't see any frustration on their face. Well, not that you can see their faces, but you don't see any frustration in in play out there. They, they just continue uh, with the with the solid play. Yeah, I think uh, one of the key changes the Hillers made was getting uh, Elena Davies on Alexa Chorus mm -hmm. pretty much in a man-to-man -man style defense and they shut her down for the fourth quarter and eventually she ended up fouling out. I think that was one of the keys to the momentum shift here in this quarter. Hillers trying to burn out the clock now. Will we have a foul from Norwood? Wrapped up by Federico. Here comes Norwood on a break to the bucket. Up and in goes Venditti. And we have a one possession game. But there is only 2.8 seconds left to go. A timeout called. Hillers 40, Norwood 37. And could you ask for anything better than a back and forth battle to start off the season, Mike? Absolutely. And to start off with a W. Well, it's not over yet. You never know. But True. Good point. It's, it's looking good, stuff. though. It's looking we've seen, good. We've seen crazy here. Absolutely. So by the way, uh, I was thinking of the NBA, which is six fouls to foul out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Celtics lately. I haven't. They've been playing well. Yeah, oh, I know they've been playing well. I just haven't got into it yet. But in high school and college, it is indeed five. Yes. Bruce on the entry over to Dacey, and that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to escape with a 40 to 37 win over Norwood. What a great effort by the Hillers here tonight. And we will take you through the total scoring in the game as well. And let's take a look at points for the Hillers. It was Emma Dacey with six, Alexi Bruce with six, Caroline Kane with four, your player of the game, Elena Davies, 21 points. Shelby Jones with three. For Norwood, it was Caitlin Grant with four. Lauren Reen with five. Sophia Venditti with two. Alexa Chorus with 24. And Kaylee Delamore with two. The final score, Hopkinton defeats Norwood 40 to 37. Coming up next, we'll have the varsity game. So stick around. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball on HCAM. <laughs> 